Hey everyone, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're gonna be doing a little cloud comparison, comparing Azure versus DigitalOcean versus Google Cloud versus Railway for serverless container offerings. Now, I like building the serverless containers because it allows me to deploy the same containers I develop with to prod and typically allows for scale to zero auto scaling, which means I don't pay for projects when they aren't being used, which is, you know, most of the time. Now, unfortunately, modern clouds are often overly complicated and the pricing is a bit arcane, which can make choosing one a bit of a chore. In particular, what I found in making uh, previous comparison videos of this is they like to have their pricing and like per second. And so it's like, you know, two ten thousandths of a cent per second. And it's like, what does that even mean? Uh, you know, it's very hard to compare these things monthly, which is when you're actually gonna get your bill to see like how, how high it actually will be. And so to solve this, I built Cloud Compare, a website that aggregates the most important attributes of these serverless container services so that they are, well, easier to compare. And so in this post, we're gonna compare several of the most popular cloud serverless container offerings using that aggregation. We'll be looking at Azure Container Apps, DigitalOcean App Platform, Google Cloud Cloud Run, and Railway. Now, quick note about these numbers. These prices are up to date as of time of writing, which is September, 2024. But of course, eventually these will change. And so this post will no longer be um, up to date. So for the latest cloud pricing and comparisons, check out Cloud Compare, those will be updated. All right, so first let's look at cloud costs by resource monthly. And so we'll start off with base offerings and their monthly costs by resource unit. This is gonna be RAM gigabytes and vCPUs is usually what you're going to be um, using to configure your, your machines. In particular, we're going to surface whether the surface allows scale to zero because I think this is really important for sustainable side projects. A lot of these numbers will vary drastically, but if you are only using it for like one day you know, of the month and it goes to sleep for the rest of it, then your actual cost is gonna be, you know, 1 30th of what's actually on this table. And so personally, I really only deploy my services and my side projects to services that are either extremely cheap or allow scale to zero, so I'm not paying the full cost. And so here's a table from Cloud Compare. And just to prove this to you, here we have the um, full table and these numbers will be updated uh, as prices change. Um, so here's just a screenshot of the top table, which is cloud cost by resource monthly. And so we can see here we have a scale to zero row saying if the service allows scale to zero or not, uh, monthly cost for one gigabyte of RAM, and then monthly cost for one vCPU. And so for Azure Container Apps, we see that they do scale to zero. We can see that the RAM costs $7.80 and the vCPUs cost $62.40. For DigitalOcean App Platform, it does not offer scale to zero and I have a whole post um, investigating this and proving that this is true. And then the RAM and vCPUs depends on the configuration. Um, they like to package their resources together. You cannot get them a la carte. Um, and so we'll look at the actual costs uh, later in the common configuration section. For Google Cloud's Cloud Run, they do offer scale to zero. The RAM gigabyte costs $6.50 and the vCPUs cost $62.40. And then for Railway, um, it does offer scale to zero. The RAM gigabytes cost $10 a month and the vCPU is $10 a month. And so the image is here in the post if you wanna look at it, um, also available on cloudcompare.xyz. And then we've also got it here in the post um, if you just like reading this stuff. For the DigitalOcean scale to zero investigation, you can see it linked here. And that's it for baseline resource costs. Okay, so now on to common cloud configuration costs monthly. So base resource unit costs can be hard to reason about for real projects um, because basically you have to like multiply them together and add them up and stuff like that. And so here what we're gonna do is aggregate these baseline resource costs into common cloud configurations that you would probably actually use to host your serverless container so you have a better idea of what it's actually gonna cost you per month. And this basically just means we're gonna be looking at like what a single small server is gonna cost with a given amount of RAM and vCPUs taking from the most common configurations across these clouds, like DigitalOcean has its configurations, Google Cloud has theirs, but typically there's some very common ones that they all provide. And now note that these costs are if you run the server for the whole time here a full month. So we're looking at, you know, if this server is always online, regardless of traffic and stuff like that. But if the service allows for a scale to zero and your app doesn't get much traffic, then often you'll only need to pay a fraction of that amount. Um, as an example of this, I use Google Cloud Run to host this website and I only pay $1 per month to host it. And this is because it goes to sleep when nobody's using it. And so for a large portion of the month, it's just sleeping. It's not actually doing anything. All right, so onto the common configuration costs. And so here's another screenshot um, from Cloud Compare. I see that this table is pretty small, so I'm trying to make this bigger and not get my head in the way. All right, so here I have common configurations 
And start off with the smallest one. This will be a half gigabyte and one vCPU. Um, this one is usually considered like a dev container and not recommended on prod, but I've run pre plenty of my um, side projects on, on boxes this small, so it really doesn't matter for small web apps. And we can see that Azure will give this to you for $66.30 a month, DigitalOcean $5, Google Cloud Cloud Run $65.65 a month, and then Railway for $15. Now, something to note, though, that um, you know, DigitalOcean does not offer scale to zero, and so this is a set five dollars. And so, you know, as I showed you in my example, Google Cloud would cost sixty-five dollars a month, but I only pay one dollar a month because it allows scale to zero. And so, it's just something to remember that this is going to be fixed cost for DigitalOcean because there is no scale to zero, but all of these are actually variable costs. So, for small um, containers that don't get much traffic, this can often be cheaper um, than. DigitalOcean. Then for one gigabyte, one vCPU, we see Azure at $70, DigitalOcean at $12, Google Cloud at $68, and Railway at $20. For RAM gigabyte two and one vCPU, we see $78 for Azure, $25 for DigitalOcean, $75 for Google Cloud, and Railway at $30. And finally, for four gigabytes RAM and two vCPUs, you should really only be up here if you're like, side projects is getting, you know, dozens, hundreds of requests a day probably. Um, for the most part, you can get away with one gigabyte, one vCPU. Um, but here we have Azure $156, DigitalOcean at 50, Google Cloud at 150, and Railway at 60. Again, the image is in this post if you want to see it. And I also have it all written out here in the post as well. Next. So for full-fledged enterprise systems, it's likely that you'll want to compare cloud hosts by other factors like authorization, tertiary offerings, like you know managed databases, cron jobs, um, load balancers, security groups, you know, all sorts of stuff like that, ecosystem of billing, if you get like enterprise discounts, et cetera. But for small builders like myself, often you just want a simple comparison so you can stop planning and start building and, you know, hopefully not burn a hole in your pocket. Cloud Compare is an active development, so please let me know if you have any feedback, things to change, more services to add, corrections to make, et cetera, anything like that. I'm really trying to make these comparisons as easy as possible. Um, so clouds, you know, stop ripping people off. Now, if you like this post, you might also like how I host my server-side rendered F Sharp site on Google Cloud for less than $1 per month, which talks about how I'm hosting Hamey.xyz, the site here. You might also be interested in how I host side projects for $5 per month on DigitalOcean without managing servers, talking about app platform and some things that I like and dislike about it. And finally, you might be interested in the Hamstack, a simple scalable tech stack for building modern web apps fast and cheap, which is basically my philosophy for building web apps and side projects. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.